Emmeline from Sweet Emmeline's. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this root beer float cupcake. These came out so adorable and they taste amazing. So we think you guys will all love these. If you want to learn how to make them, then just keep watching. For our root beer cupcakes, we'll be needing two cups of flour, one cup of milk, one stick of unsalted butter, three eggs, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of root beer. First, what I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now in a medium sized bowl, I'm going to be adding in our flour, baking soda, as well as salt, and we can take a whisk and mix this together. Now in a large bowl, I'm going to be adding in the butter and also the sugar. Now I'm taking my blender and mixing this together until it is light and fluffy. Now I'm going to be adding in each egg. Next, I'm going to blend this together. Once we have that mixed up, I'm going to be adding in half of the dry ingredients and mixing this together. Then we can add in half of our milk and mix this together. And then basically we're just gonna repeat the process until all of our flour and milk is gone. Now I'm gonna be adding in our soda and mixing this together until it is all mixed up. Once we have this, I'm gonna be taking my cupcake wrappers, which I got from TJ Maxx, and an ice cream scoop. And I'm going to be scooping one scoop into each of these liners. And this should make about 24 cupcakes. I don't have all 24 here. Just for the sake of the time of the video, I wanted to make this a little bit quicker. So I just showed you guys a few of them. And for these wrappers, you can just place them on a baking sheet. You don't need a cupcake pan. Now we can place our pan into the oven and we can bake this for about 16 to 18 minutes. Once they're done, we can put them to the side and let them cool. Now for our frosting, we'll be needing two sticks of butter, one tablespoon of root beer concentrate, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and two cups of confectioner sugar. We're going to take our butter and just blend this together until it is nice and light and fluffy. Now we can add in our root beer concentrate and heavy whipping cream and blend this together until it's all mixed. Now we can add in the confectioner sugar and keep mixing this until our frosting forms. Here I have a Wilton piping bag, which you can get from Michaels, and I also have a Wilton 1M tip. So I'm going to be placing this into the bag and cutting off the end of the tip and adding in our frosting. Now it's time to frost our cupcakes, so I'm just going to be frosting this with a classic swirl. So basically we're just going to start on the outside and work our way in. To decorate our cupcakes, I'm taking some paper straws that I got from TJ Maxx and I'm just cutting them into smaller pieces, then I'm going to place them on the side of each cupcake. I'm also going to finish off each cupcake with a little cherry. Now the cupcakes are done and I think they look so adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also leave me a comment down below telling me what type of video you guys would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and also click around for more fun videos. Alright, let's try these. Mmm, that is so good. The peanut butter complements the chocolate perfectly. Let's head back to the kitchen now because it's time for us to get started making our very own Twix at home.